Oh my god. Yep. Well, Great. upload speeds aside, we're jumping into game one. Rob versus Roy, Everest versus Biggie. Let's see how it goes. All right. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to them killing each other with side B at 60 on the ledge. Right. That, we're that's gonna, definitely going to be a common factor. You see, Biggie's looking for these Z-drop Nair combos. Mm. And strong, he's, yeah. got mul he's got multiple ways to end those combos. He can... He can finish it with a Nair into side B. He can throw the gyro and then side B. He can fair, Z drop fair, and then throw the gyro on side B. So that's one thing we're going to see is how he's able to finish those combos, or if he's not even going to be able to get them in the first place. Side B and right out of hit sun, taking every to the ledge. And this gyro, gyro at the ledge is one of the, because it covers options for you. So you can hard cover ledge get up, or uh, excuse me, ledge jump or roll. Mm -hmm. So that's what Biggie's looking for when he's got a gyro at the ledge. Yeah, exactly. It'll just cover all those options for you, even if you don't get to keep it pretty safe. Right now, Everest feels like he's just been, had this throb all over him the entire match. He just cannot get away from yeah. him, but he's definitely not at a huge percent deficit. Yeah. Another hit and F smash would seal this, this robot stock. Oh, but, but a big back air is going to take the stock yeah. for Biggie. That so what, what, is so it, what does Everest need to do to turn this around? I think Everest is just going to need to play a little bit more patient. He's just kind of, you know, he's not necessarily running in, but he's just kind of jumping up and down in place and, and eating a lot of down B and neutral yes. B from Rob. One, from one, thing, one thing Rob definitely punishes is players who jump. If you look at that a Nair, the Nair hitbox is so large that a bad jump is always going to get caught by that. See right there, he ran under the Nair and went behind him and was able to get a back air there. Just barely escaping that Rob down there. It's such a deadly tool now. It feels so much more consistent. Yes. Rob off stage though. Pretty tricky yeah, for Roy one, to edge guard. One thing, one thing Biggie does a lot is just saves his double jump. So he'll just up B down there and then double jump up air. And if you're not ready for it, it'll get him off back onto the stage for free. Mirage getting just a little bit impatient here, just trying to trying to go up and intercept Rob, but, but he's side, really side B hard to interrupt. Side B negative 45 on shield, so he's able to get a forward tilt there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but the unfortunate roll it, right into the up smash. Is it actually negative 45? I think it's it's really something high. like that. Yeah. I'm actually gonna look that up right now. Fact check. All right. Well, I'm, I'm getting like, well, I'm getting fact checked. That by sounds everyone. right though. Like it, it is very minus on shield. If you're, gonna, if, you're rob, data app, you know? if you're gonna rob side B, you better make sure you're getting at least the hit. And these down speaking of good frame data moves, Rob down tilt. Very quick move, very safe on shield, 22 frames total. And the up air there is able to seal the stock. Yeah, Biggie, throws mid, in a mid down percent. smash for good measure. Mid percent on his second stock, he's definitely not really having too much right trouble there. with this Roy. Our hero piece two forgets his jacket, he's gonna grab it. While Naraj think, or while Everest thinks about his counter pick, right now he's thinking. Honestly, what what I would really like to see more from Everest is he's really going for a lot of these frontal approaches. But Rob is strongest in his front. He's where he's got his good out of shield moves like forward air and down, and you know drop shield down tilt and stuff. If he crosses him up with like those falling up airs and stuff, his back air is way too slow to deal with something yeah. like that. He's got to find an escape option, and that's when Roy can you know take him out. And in Okay, you're really close, by the way, because it's negative 37. 37, yeah. 45. Which is like, you're going to get punished if you, if you oh, shield yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of time to drop shield and forward shield. You could, like, drop shield, jump, land, forward smash. Nikki, what, are we, what are we thinking in terms of counterpick stages here? Because I, th I think not that, a big stage. I think that Roy and and Rob kind of want the same thing. They want to close to the side. To the side. No, okay. <laughs> See, this is what I was thinking. So Town and City is the closest from the ledge to the blast zone. So Roy looking for kills like jab back air, mm -hmm. like side B. Those are kills you want off the side. Yeah, but definitely the, a really good ledge guard stage. But if you think about it, Rob also is looking for kills off the side with those side B combos. So we'll see how that comes into yeah. play in this game too, man. Definitely like the biggest factor I, I believe is the tall, tall ceiling. Making, you know, a lot of Rob's KOs come from the top, even if he does get it, yes. quite a few of those side ones. Up, up tilt, up air, the, the, yeah. down, the down throw mix up into. Whereas nearly up all of Roy's are the side, so definitely yeah. a good choice. Gives him a lot of room to run around away from Rob's zone. See, this is the and side yep. you were talking about. And that, you know, just what See, we're talking about. See, if you about. think about a stage like Kalos, might not have gotten the kill or Battlefield, but mm -hmm. on a stage like this at that percent, Rob's mm. gonna fly off the stage. Vicky waiting for and the. See, now here's the option, punish game from Roy. Yeah, they, because Rob is such a big body at such a weight, Rob's going to be able to get those kicks. Ooh, this is scary on that side platform. One wrong move from Rob, and he's getting side beaten. At 50%, I, I think he might die on a sweet spot hit from Rob. Yeah, on, on, a, 
on like a Kalos as platform on the side there? Absolutely. But, and, you but know, the, the platform's helping out had a lot more than PS2. Like, he's not able to land as well, whereas, you know, Roy is so quick, he can still be there in right. an instant. And if you also think about how long Biggie kept Everest at the ledge, one thing you can do on this stage is just ledge hop right onto the platform and then be safe. Another side B almost getting the kill there. Like the Z drop from Naraj there, I think he didn't mean to toss it off stage quite, but... One, one thing you can do is you can sort of mimic Rob's sort of ledge trap game there to where you're able to throw it down right at the ledge, cover neutral get up, cover get up attack, and then just hard cover either roll or ledge jump. But opting for the Z drop Great there is a good on that option. One. Yeah, definitely definitely. killed him. That's a very strong move, even aerially. Ooh. Ooh just uh, barely clipping down. his yes. big boots or whatever he's got on his knees there. His shin guards. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the... Here's the... Here's the we special. call it the Biggie Blender. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to get out of it. But oh my god. See, there's like, the... Last time he's he did... escaping from Naraj. Last time he did double down tilt. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate SD from the, Everest. The classic side, the SD. But and we are still in best of three territory, so that's going to end the match. That was such a ball. Like, he just took that match so quick. He missed yes. two. 